Die of Shame, I guess, is a kind of, uh, in one way, an attempt to sort of do some sort of modern spin on the lock room mystery. It's kind of a lock room mystery. I didn't really realise that at the time. Um, and because of the background of the book, it's set among a group of recovering addicts who were in uh, relapse prevention therapy. And because addiction affects all sorts of people, I've got an incredibly disparate cast of characters to work with. So within this one circle of six people, I've got a kind of, you know, very highly respected consultant anaesthetist. I've got a kind of ex-rent boy. I've got a, you know, a sort of uh, middle-class housewife who's become an alcoholic since her marriage broke down. I've got all sorts of different people. Basically, somebody in that circle's going to die. Somebody in that circle is a killer. And, you know, you can guess the rest. The key is just to create characters that the reader is going to engage with. I mean, you do workshops and so on and so on occasionally about how you create suspense. And there are little tricks of the trade, you know, any crime writer has these weapons in their armoury, you know, the reveal, the cliffhanger, you know. It's all about when you give away certain pieces of information, timing, all that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, if you can give readers and listeners characters they care about, then you've got suspense from page one, and, and that's what's going to sustain over a long period of time is characters. Uh, you know, a, a, a few seasoned writers such as myself have been known to gather together in pubs um, and talk about this, and, and the conclusion we all come to is if we were all hit by a truck tomorrow, you know, if there was some hideous accident where, you know, me and, uh, you know, Ian Rankin and Michael Connolly and whoever were all wiped out in the bus tomorrow... Readers actually, they might go, oh, that's a shame. But actually, if there was still somebody writing Rebus, Bosch and Thorn novels, they'd be cool with it.